welcome to my video and if you are new welcome to my channel today we have a very exciting unboxing and haul so let's get into it so yes we have an unboxing and a haul um we have an unboxing literally from everywhere i have a hot topic box i have amazon i have directly from loungefly um i have a small shop like <coughs> all of the retailers um i don't i haven't really bought from retailers in a really long time i've been mostly buying from facebook groups and there is one bag that i did buy from a facebook group um but i kind of this video is more of like a haul of things that i've been wanting but like kind of pushed off and i like just other things came up other deals came up i was collecting a lot of older bags that i didn't get the first time around so that's just kind of gonna be the vibe of this video is bags that I've been wanting for a while and just haven't got yet so without further ado let's get into the haul so the first bag that I'm going to show is the one that I got from a Facebook group I unboxed this quite a while ago so it's no longer in the box but the rest will be in their boxes um this bag is going to be a duplicate of another bag that I will show in this video as well um or not a duplicate like they re-released it basically slightly different and i bought this one before the other one went on sale you probably will be able to guess which one i got um but i bought this one before it went on sale and i don't know which one i'm gonna keep because <laughs> i was like oh i think i'm gonna keep i think i'm gonna keep the sale bag and try and sell this one or trade it or something i don't know yet but um this is the santa mickey bag this is a disney parks bag and it is the original one and it has a bunch of different textures it has like a belt right here and a little um like belt buckle and some little tufts of hair on his hat and his jacket no front pocket and um he has like a little bell as well it's all velvet which is actually the reason why i'm thinking i'm gonna why i wanted the other one um and also i just can't pass up a good deal <laughs> um because i feel like i'm not going to use this one because one it's higher in value and two it has like it's not a traditional like leather faux leather bag so I feel like I'm not going to use it as much but I did still want to show it because uh, I don't know I think it's a really cute bag as well and for a really long time this was not necessarily a grail but definitely what I was looking for so when I saw it for a good price I snagged it and then the other one went on sale and I was like yeah anywho um you can see the what are these called the straps <laughs> um are like this metallic-y red and the back is just all velvet it's just like all velvet except for the metallic the back the bottom is also metallic and it has gold hardware and the like seams are metallic look at that that's so cool so yeah this one is probably the one that i'm gonna get rid of if i'm being completely honest i did buy it before i bought the other one so yeah <laughs> anywho let's move into the next bag since i already talked about it i figured i would go for the one that complements this one which i haven't unboxed yet it is in this one it does uh, funko lounge Fly is now actually branding their boxes which i like it came in this humongous box and this is one bag so that's gonna be interesting because Lunchfly sometimes does not pack their bags the best. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt until I get into it. Hopefully they did send me the right bag because I have been seeing a lot of people who they have not been sending the right bags to. So here we go. Here we go. Inside. And yes, I took all of the labels off of all my bags. Paper, a lot of bubble wrap. Look at this. Lounge fly. Doing the most. Look, it's bubble wrap. They never used to pack their bags like this. I can already tell. Ah, I can already see it's good. Hold up. Let me show you guys how it's wrapped. It's like wrapped in bubble wrap and it's like tape. Okay. You can see it. 
here it is. This is the Santa Mickey Disney Lounge Fly version. I'm going to open it up and I'll be back in a second. It's out of its bag. Let's take the paper off. Oh, it also came with this foam thing. Or not foam, wrapped paper. Here it is. It literally looks exactly the same, except this one has pie eye and this one doesn't. Maybe I should do, before I get rid of this one, I should do a comparison video. That would be. Would you guys be interested in that? Um, let me just take off all of this packaging. Hold on. Okay. I can kind of already see a difference in quality, and this one is definitely not as good quality. It doesn't have as, oh my, oh my god. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but oh, my light is too bright. Hold on, let me turn down my, my light. Can you see that? There's some tape right here, and it's like completely split open at the top. Oh my god. Let me take off the tape. Okay, this was not marketed as a defective bag. So I don't know why it's coming damaged. Unless I misread something. But I'm going to reach out to them. I know it was final sale and I don't know if I will be able to return it. But I feel like if it's damaged... They should take it back, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't know how Loungefly does their returns. Um, anywho, it is glittery, which was the reason why I kind of wanted it over the other one. The quality is definitely lower. I mean, just look at that. It's completely split open. If they don't do returns, I will try and fix it because I do have some fabric glue that I can try and glue it. Um... I do think it has a front pocket. Yeah, it has a front pocket. Not super useful, but it's there. Oh, I'm really disappointed in that. I was really excited about this bag. Um, this is the back of it. It's just Santa Mickey. Um, this originally retailed for $90, I believe. I got it for $30, $31 plus shipping when it restocked on their website on sale. Um, I will update you guys and see what they say about that because it also had a piece of tape on it, which I took off and I don't know if I should take that off. Should I put that back on? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's so weird. Anywho, I'm just gonna move into the next bag. <laughs> I gotta just, I will update you guys on that one. Wow, that's kind of disappointing. Oh, Okay. Well, we're going to move into the next bag. The next bag is from Amazon. I think it shipped through the small shop it was exclusive to, which I will talk about when I get into the bag, but I'm going to go ahead and open it. This was one that when I saw it, I really liked it because I felt like it was a very versatile bag. And it was one that I felt like... Um, it was just very versatile and it was one that I could wear to the parks and wear with a lot of different outfits, but it wasn't one that was like, I was like, I need this bag. It was one that I was like, you yeah, know, I like it. And then it went on sale and I bought it because, not because it was on sale, because I liked it, but then it was on sale. And it is the Mickey Pastels bag. So this was an exclusive to Tiffany. Which, if you don't know Bippity, Bippity was originally a, like, um, what is it called? A, like, subscription box company. And, um, then they turned into a, um, kind of a re retailer and a subscription box. And now they get Loungefly exclusives. They've had a few in the past year. And this is their most recent one. I think because you... 
guys can see it. I might just leave it in the plastic for now. Um, you know what? No, I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. Give me one second. Here's it out of the plastic. It has this beautiful, like, rainbow iridescent almost, um, like, uh, what is this called? Hardware, which was part of the reason why I wanted it so bad, because I think that's just so stunning. And then there's just pastel Mickeys all over it. And then the zipper charm is a pastel Mickey. You can see the print better on the back. And then straps are these, like, pastel, like, uh, primary colors. Oh, it's so gorgeous. After the disappointment of the last unboxing, definitely excited to have this one come in in perfect shape. Like, no flaws whatsoever. Good job, Bippity. <laughs> um, yeah. This is really pretty. So the reason why I really wanted this one is I love bags with Mickey ears. But I don't really like sequins very much. Um, they give me a glitter bag any day. But like sequins... I don't really like the feel of them on my skin, which sound probably sounds weird, but like I just don't like wearing them. Um, so when I saw that they had kind of like an all over print typical bag, I was like, that's so cute. It is white, which I'm not the biggest fan of white bags, but I still think it's really cute. I didn't really have any pattern placement. Like, I think that I got a good one though. Like, there's a full line of Mickeys. It's not like he's, like, cut off with his head right there. Which I think is cute. Let's look at the lining. Oh my gosh. I'm really struggling to get this open. Okay. Oh, it's very simple, but I kind of like that it's simple. It's just pastel Mickey heads. I also... I think it is. Oh my god, it is. The, like lining or not the lining the like zipper fabric is like also like ombre rainbow the details of this bag are super great this fabric is more of like a texture it's not really the soft it's more textured faux leather um it's not quite the like this texture that is on mickey's face on this bag i don't even know if you're gonna be able to tell um, but it's more along the lines of like, uh, some of the AOPs. Like, I feel like a lot of the AOPs are this texture. Bottom is just plain white. This is such a gorgeous bag. Oh, I'm gonna have to take this one to the park because I think this is a perfect park bag. If you're just getting into lounge line, I think this is a good one to like be a starter bag because it's very, very versatile. This one was on sale and I bought it on Amazon. So I got free shipping because... I'm a, I'm a Prime member. Um, I bought it for $50 shipped, which I thought was an insanely good deal because it was originally $90. Um, it's so pretty. I'm just going to keep staring at it. I think my favorite Mickey is definitely going to be the blue and purple Mickey. If you can see him. There we go. Bring you in. Just not wanting to focus. I love this bag so much. I can't wait to put it on display. I ugh, I have like a semi spring display and I think this one will, will go very well with my spring display. I think I'm going to redo my display. So watch out for a short of that. I don't think I'm going to do a full video, but I definitely will do a short of that. So watch out for that. Stay tuned. <laughs> I guess I should say. Okay, moving right in, we have our next package, which is from Hot Topic you did not see hot topic was doing its hot cash deal and while i had no hot cash someone on a facebook group generously gifted me the hot cash so if you are that person and you are watching these videos for some reason thank you very much i very much appreciate it um but yes i was gifted the hot cash and i bought some things so we're gonna get into it. Oh, they gave me hot cash right on the top. When is this good? Oh, the next hot cash is not till July. I guess that makes sense. It's May right now. Um, let me just pull out the packing slip. So, for whatever weird reason, this is shipped from my store and not directly from 
uh, Hot Topic. So, yeah, it came in like a day, literally like a day. So, really fast shipping. It is packed with paper. I forgot to add. And here's a sneak peek of it. <laughs> you can kind of see it. Oh, this is so pretty. So, yes, I used someone's hot cash. I They had two 15 off of 30s. And I did get another one. So, I guess they're already handing it out. Interesting. Okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted. Um, they had two 15 off 30s. So, I spent $60. I actually think I spent $65 ish dollars and then got $30 off so it ended up being about 40 with shipping and everything um which they didn't charge me double shipping even though this shipped from somewhere else I don't know but this is the gorgeous Pascal bag look at this bag it's just so pretty I don't have a lot of table bags I think I mentioned this in my um it did not come shipped in a bag, I will say, but like for not coming shipped in a bag, it's in pristine condition. Like it's in better condition than that Mickey. Just saying, just saying. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of tangled bags because I don't in general love the tangled bags. Sorry if you, um, even though Tangled is my favorite movie, they just tend to like not be my favorite. Like the one behind me and I think I have like two others besides the one behind me and this one now. Um, but I also don't love soft tag bags. I've had a lot of soft tag bags in the past. And in general, I find them to be lower quality and like have a lot of mistakes. Like almost every time I've ordered from Hot Topic previously and I've gotten an exclusive, there's been like an error. And I guess because the ship from the store, someone actually inspected it and made sure that it was like, good quality because this is like pristine condition like no complaints and but and also I find that like sometimes the soft tag bags are not my favorite art style etc but this one oh, this one has been going in and out of stock for literally years and I've been wanting it for literally years um but I didn't want to pay full price so when I saw that it was good for hot cash I was like yes getting that one um I think the inside lining is just a plain black oh it's kind of like a brownish color yeah nothing too exciting um but it does have side pockets which the soft tag bags used to not have side pockets I haven't bought a soft tag bag in literally years but they used to not have side pockets. I also don't love these straps. They've grown on me a little bit. But for this bag, I will I will suffer for you. <laughs> um, also, this has debossing. Like, the quality, like, the level has just gone up. I feel like the quality level is now on par with, like, not soft tag bags. Minus the straps and the hardware, but like honestly, the hardware you barely even notice. Like, it, if you look from far away, you would not think that this wasn't, you know, a lounge fly bag, you know what I mean? But yeah, there's something else I was gonna add, and I completely am not blinking. Super excited to add this to my collection. It was originally retailed for you can't see that, but $55. Which, by the way, Hot Topic bags have also gone up. They're now, like, for, like, 60-ish dollars, which I don't know if I would pay $60 for a soft tag bag, personally, unless it was, like, the best bag ever. So, yeah. I don't know. But I am super excited about this. I probably got it with the other thing that I'm going to show later on. Or should I just do it now? I'll just do it now. Um, it shipped separately, so I did already take it out of its, like, bag but with this and the other thing that I'm about to show I think it was like $40 um ship with shipping and everything if, I, if I'm remembering correctly I don't know but I'm super excited to have this bag I should have start I should have ended with the Mickey bag because <laughs> like now everything else just is just amazing anywho so the other thing that I bought with the hot cash just to get over the threshold basically, which I only needed to spend $5 and I spent 15. So, um, 
it is here. It is in a pop sorter. And I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it to you guys. This is, I should say, this is a, like, type of item that I've been seeing everywhere. And I've been wanting one so badly. And I finally saw one and it was on hot cash. And I was like, it's meant to be. Here it is. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. <laughs> it is a pop soda, though. This one is Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. You can see him here. And if you have never seen an unboxing of these, basically it is technically a blind box figure, but you know what the actual character is going to be. But there is a chase, which I think the chase for this one is black and white, I want to say. I don't know. I didn't look it up, but I think that I watched an unboxing with it. So... These are also all limited edition. This one's a 1500. Yeah, 1500. And then the chase is a one in six. So if that, any of that sounds interesting to you, I highly recommend going for the sodas. This is really cute. I'm going to go ahead and open it right now because why not? Okay, I got it out of the plastic and you just pop off the top. Like this, there we go. See the blind box, blind bag, blind, blind box, blind bag. Okay, pulling out the blind bag. There is a pug at the bottom that tells you what you got. So I'm just going to put the lid back on so I'm not tempted to look. Here is the blind bag. Obviously, you can't really feel <laughs> if it's the chase because I think it's a different color. Oh my gosh. I think that it's just the common. Let's see. I'm not gonna look. I'm gonna show you guys first. And it's covered in bubble wrap. But here it is. Yeah, it's just the common. That's perfectly fine. Oh, these are so cool. Oh, I really like these. Here it is. It's kind of like a Funko Mini, except you know what you're getting, which I kind of like because. I feel like the problem to me with Funko Minis is that like you don't know what you're getting and you just want one character. So I really like this. I don't really fully collect Funko Pops anymore. I got rid of a lot of them. I only have a couple, but there are a lot that came out for the 100th that I am eyeing. And I also really like these sodas. I, I love him. He's so cute. And I love... Oswald is like such an interesting part of Disney history to me so I just I love this and did come in plastic so it looked something like this but yeah I really I like that so let me show you the cog as well so it's just basically cardboard and it just says one in tw tw 12,500 yeah, I really like this. I think I'm going to have to buy more. There is a Ursula and a Maleficent one on Amazon right now um, for like $10. And I think, am I going to, I'm going to start collecting sodas? I don't know. I like the style of these better than the Funko Pops, if I'm being completely honest. Because sometimes the Funko Pops, I don't know, they just like look off to me. But I really like the style of these. So... I might be buying more. Put this back here. Look at that. And I love the can. Just great. Okay. Back into the lounge box. I think I saved the best lounge fly unboxing. Oh my god, it's so heavy. For last, this is the small shop lounge fly. I believe this shop, yes, it was from Circle of Hope Boutique. Let me find my exact knife. <laughs> Um, it's from Circle of Hope Boutique. These are two exclusives from them that I have been wanting for a while. One went out of stock for a little bit, so it came back in stock. And I'm just, like, obsessed with these two bags. This kind of started the whole haul, and then it just kind of, like, snowballed from deals. <laughs> like, everything else I got a deal for, and these ones I paid full price. Well, I got 10% off with a uh coupon code um i don't have a coupon code for them but i use someone else's anyway 
this is again from Circle of Hope Deek, which I have bought from before a couple of times, and I really like their them in general. They are they do have like um or they donate a percentage of their profits to wildlife conservation, which um I just absolutely love. Um they have had a few exclusive that I few exclusives that I have really liked. Them and I think Modern Pinup and, and Cordy's Corner can't forget Cordy's Corner have had like some really great exclusives all right let's open it up and it did have this thing to make sure you didn't actually cut it which I love that's so smart Ooh, it has packaging I love the presentation okay and it says pretty things I can't read that last word I cannot figure out what light look life is that what that's supposed to be saying <laughs> i cannot tell what that sticker is saying let me show you guys if you can decipher what that sticker says <laughs> cute though cute though but yes we have some very pink pet tissue paper love the presentation this feels like opening a present y'all i love it so much This. Okay, let me pull the. This is the shipping label, which I'm not going to show you what the items are, but there's a little sticker sticker that says thank you. Oh, here we go. This is their card. Oh, <laughs> this is their card, and there is a little coupon for 15% off my next purchase. Which I wonder if I got these last time or no. 10% off. Oh, it's already expired. Oh, I opened this up way too late. So I can just show you guys. <laughs> My bad. I did open this up. This has been sitting here for quite a while, I will say. All right, which one should I? I'm going to save the best for last. We're going we're gonna to open up this one. <gasps> Hold on. First, there's so many goodies. I just completely knocked my camera off its entire stand. <laughs> my bad there's just it's, it's a mess around me okay we're gonna put this to the side anyway what i was trying to say is they keep me little candies and another card i am obsessed with this packaging I'm, obs I'm obsessed i love this so much highly recommend you check them out oh i love this packaging i'm obsessed i love these like little um like Bags. I think that's so amazing. Okay. All right. Moving into the bag. There's a sneak peek. You can see it through the plastic. Okay. Let me um, unbag it. I can find my. Here's my exacto knife. Okay. Let's unbag it. Here it is. It is. Oop. <laughs> this just fell out. The Diablo cosplay bag. I didn't realize he had wings. Oh my gosh, goodies. This is all applique, by the way. It do, is this a zipper pocket? Oh yeah, it's like a hidden, oh, that's right. Because, hold on, let me see if I can pull it out. I'm not a huge fan of these zipper pockets. I've said this many times before, I don't use them, but, ooh, come on, come on. You wanna see my, this one has a very cool zipper pull. It is Maleficent. And it's like the my favorite, like the antique bronze hardware. Moving on, we have her little um like gremlin. I I don't know what you would call them, like her little guards for her castle. Did not know that was on the back. Oh my god, this is embroidered too. That is gorgeous. Make me a backpack of that, y'all. Oh, I showed that side. And then here's the other her like minions. Which I like when I I knew these were on there because they had just shown a picture on their Instagram. Because I follow them on Instagram. And I had to rewatch the movie to figure out what they were because i could not figure it out 
they do have side pockets and it's a, like one of these zippers where there's like no space which i kind of like because it's easier to get in and out of okay here's the lining it's diablo with some lines oh my gosh this is a stunning bag also in pristine condition this retailed for 85 dollars i believe um, and again, I got 10% off, so it was like 77 I want to say. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this bag. I, I, I feel like I haven't been talking just because I think this bag is so pretty. I will also say that I love niche, unique characters and sidekicks. As you saw from my sidekick collection, so like this is going to fit perfectly in my collection. I'm so I love this bag so much it's so pretty okay okay all right now we're getting into the second one which is kind of the reason the order happened anyway and then I really like that bag oh my god I can't stop looking at it <laughs> all right this little sneak peek of the other one let me cut it open so this one again is another exclusive that was announced about a month ago this this one came out was announced like about a week before this one and, okay, you guys ready oh my god This is so gorgeous. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. There's so many things to show on this pack. Okay. If you didn't know, this is the caterpillar from um, Alice in Wonderland, whose name I cannot pronounce. It's like Absol, I think is how you pronounce it. I don't know. But I actually played him in a play when I was little. So I like love him. Uh, okay. This is all embroidered and like applique on. And he has his antennas and we have a little mushroom as well if you don't know he sits on the mushroom and smokes a hookah <laughs> in the movie oh my gosh this is so stunning again all of the details let's look at the lining i don't know if i ever saw the lining i'm assuming it's like him some variation of him oh give me a, again with the lining give me a bag of this me. Look at that. I'm gonna try and open the bigger pocket and see if I can get it a little better. But it is gold hardware. As you can see, I love the pink and blue. I love it. Okay, and the best part of this bag. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. <laughs> Hold on. Anyway, I'm really not, I'm really failing at this. <laughs> reveal, big reveal. Okay. <laughs> He turns into a butterfly. Look at that. Okay. And then the back, on the back, you can see how it like moves. It has like a grommet. And then there's her on the mushroom talking to him. If you didn't wanna, I will say the wings are like not the sturdiest. This is definitely more of a display bag versus a wear bag, but like I guess it makes sense because they like flap. If you don't want to wear it like this, which probably if I were to wear it, I wouldn't necessarily want to wear the wings. You could just like tuck them back in. I'm gonna tuck them back in. Guys, this bag is so beautiful. I'm obsessed. Okay, let's let's look at the lining from the top and see if we can get a better shot of it. Yes. I need to see it better. Does have side pockets, of course. I think they're making all their bags with side pockets now. Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> I love the 
this bag so much. I love... I feel like we went from, like, disappointing to just amazing. <laughs> like, it slowly got better <laughs> as time went on. Oh my gosh. Like, I just... I cannot with this bag. It is gorgeous. Oh! I love it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that was quite the unboxing. My room is a complete mess now. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite thing that I showed was. I actually think that it might be this one for me. I was not expecting this one to be my favorite, but I just love the details of this bag. This one's, this one's great too, but I feel like I was expecting to love this one, but I was like on the fence about this one and I absolutely love it. I love this bag. I also love this one. I love all of them. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to reach out to Loungefly about the Santa Mickey and see what they say. I might just be stuck with it, which is fine. I will use it and it will be a bag that I use, but it may mean that I might keep the other one as a display piece. <laughs> um, and I love the soda as well. I might have more soda videos coming because I just love this so much. I don't need another collection, but I do, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I at least want to get the, the Ursula and the Maleficent at the very least. There's a couple others that I saw that I really liked. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I will have more coming very, very soon. Um, I think I'm going to redo my background next now that I have unboxed all of these bags. I have a feeling that all of these bags are going to be going in my background, in my display. Yeah, I like, oh, I just, this was a great unboxing. I mean, minus the disappointment from Loungefly. Um, but it, it, I have no words. I have no words. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe down below for more Disney magic from me. Um, and I will be coming back to you guys very soon. So have a great rest of your day. Bye.